Do you need Iridium like a lot of Iridium? Well, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to farm an absolutely insane amount of Iridium on just a single trip to the Skull Cavern. In this run, I managed to get 500 Iridium ore and 2 prismatic shards and you can do so too with just a few simple tips. Alrighty, let's get started. To get Iridium, you're going to need staircases. But who has time to farm 99 stone just for a single staircase? And I'm sure no one wants to use all of their gold to find tons of stone. There is a way to get tons of staircases with almost no effort at all. All you need is a single jade and a crystallarium. You can trade a J for a staircase at the Desert Trader on Sundays and there is no limit to how many staircases you can purchase. So craft as many crystallariums as you can and fill them with jades. Jades will only take 2 days to be duplicated, so if you only have a few crystallariums, you can still get plenty of jades. They are actually very expensive to craft as they require 2 iridium bars, 1 battery pack, 5 gold bars, and 99 stone to craft, so I only managed to craft about 13 of them. However, 13 was more than enough. In half a season, I managed to amass 220 jades, and you can trade those jades for staircases. If you wanted to craft 200 staircases with stone, it would cost you about 22 thousand stone which would take you forever to farm. Duplicating jades and trading them in is just so much more efficient. After you have enough staircases and are ready to farm an insane amount of iridium ore, place everything you need in your inventory the day before so you can plan ahead to go to the skull cavern and craft a desert totem. When you wake up at 6am, use your desert totem immediately and you will be at the desert much earlier than if you waited for Pam to come to work. You can buy the recipe for the desert totem at the desert trader for only 10 iridium bars. It sounds expensive, but it's definitely worth it. Remember, you can only purchase stairs from the desert trader on a Sunday, so either buy them and then come back another day, or just hope the Sunday you go you will have good luck. Now that you have your stairs, and as soon as you enter the skull cavern, place a staircase and immediately use the staircase. If you do this fast enough, you will notice that time does not go by. Unfortunately, sometimes there's a stone in the way and you can't place stairs on a certain type of terrain. These scenarios will unfortunately result in some time passing, but as long as you click as fast as possible, you can get extremely deep in the skull cavern without much time passing. I'm going to skip over a little bit because watching me play stairs is uh, pretty boring. I stopped spamming the staircases around floor 140, but you can go as deep as you want. If you have plenty of stairs and it's still early, nothing is stopping you from getting to that floor 1000. Something important to note, I reached floor 140 by 10 am. If we didn't use the desert totem, you would usually only arrive at the desert at this time, but I'm already on floor 140, which is pretty impressive. This method should also work without the desert totem, the totem just allows you to get deeper and this more iridium ore. You can go as deep as you want, but remember to save some staircases for later floors. I will explain why shortly. First, let's quickly chat about what else you should bring if you want to farm some iridium ore. You should always try and bring some food items that boost your luck. I brought some lucky lunches and some ginger ale, and I cooked them using Keith's special seasoning. This resulting in very helpful plus 6 luck. This massive luck boost actually helps out a ton and will definitely reduce how often you will need to farm for iridium. Now I have said this in many videos before, but bombs are your friends. Iridium ore just takes so long to mine, and by using giant bombs, you will destroy more rocks and maybe find a ladder. I actually didn't bring nearly enough bombs in this run. As you can see, I ran out of them very early into my descent and had to start crafting bombs on the fly. Never underestimate how many bombs you might need. Always bring more, you probably won't regret it. Especially since we're basically skipping 100 floors and you will find tons of iridium other good stuff. Don't have any regrets like I did in this run. I think if I had enough bombs, I could have attained much more iridium. 
If you are enjoying this video or find these tips helpful, please consider subscribing. I try to release a new Stardew Valley video every day. Alrighty, back onto the stairs. If you truly want to farm a ton of Iridium ore, you should always save some stairs after you have skipped the initial bunch of levels. Let's say you mined a bunch of Iridium ore on the floor and you weren't lucky enough to find a ladder in the process. Instead of mining normal rocks for a ladder, just use a staircase to get to the next floor. Another good scenario where you would use a staircase is if you land on the floor where there is no iridium ore visible from where you landed on the floor. I usually just skip that floor and go straight to the next. Doing this will save you plenty of time and will ultimately maximize your iridium farming capabilities and I would highly recommend doing this. I only started mining Iridium Ore on this run on level 140. By the time I ended this run, I was on floor 240, as my goal was Iridium and nothing else. If you manage to get some gold or silver in the process, why not? But we are here for Iridium. In this run, I kept mining until I passed out because a 1000 gold fine isn't bad and definitely worth it since you can get an extra hour or two of mining. If you want, you can also bring a farm totem with you and use it around 20 to 2 to get back into bed in time, but I usually just keep mining until I pass out. I mined more than 500 iridium ore in this single run and that will get me more than 100 iridium bars. Guess what I'm going to use all those iridium bars for? More crystallariums! <laughs> so I can duplicate even more jades, purchase more staircases and maybe get to floor 1000 this time. Thank you so much for watching this video. I actually really needed the iridium ore so this video was the perfect excuse to just go into the skull caverns and get a good amount of iridium. I should have just bought more bombs. If you have any iridium farming tips of your own, drop them in the comments. Maybe I can optimize my iridium farming methods even more. But for now, until next time.